Hi guys and welcome to my uh, third uh, basic Excel tutorial. The, this tutorial is going to show you how to uh, work with different data types um, uh, and as opposed to continuing with the formulas um, because you need to be able to use your formulas with a variety of different data types if you're going to be using it for for more than just simple calculations. So this is just a simple spreadsheet uh, that I've put together. Uh, these aren't real people. I've, I've taken a random name generator uh, and random number generators to generate all of these. Um, at the top I've got my headings. Now in Excel your headings are very important um, and naming of the headings to make people understand them is really important. What I always also like to do is just highlight my headings um, and using this bar up here um, you you can just give it a colour. So I'm just going to make them grey because I'm, I'm dull and boring. Um, and that just makes them stand out a little bit more. Um, you can also make them bold um, and uh, what you'll notice here is that some of the cells have gone a little bit outside the boxes and you generally don't want this and the way to fix it is just to click on um, the column uh, and just stretch it a bit like this. So just go to the edge of it and wait until you've got that symbol and just stretch it out. Alternatively, once you've got that symbol, double click and it will do them for you, um, like so. Um, it will just make it so it takes up only as much space as it needs to. So now I've got my table. What I want to show you is formatting of your cells to be the correct data type. So this is all text data type. So um, if you right click on them and go to format cells we've got uh, a list here and a number uh, of all the different data types you can possibly have in a cell. Now these ones are happy as they are, so we'll leave them as general. So just click OK. Uh, age, um, if we go to here, then again, we're probably quite happy with general because it's just showing up a normal um, thing. What you can do, uh, because it's a number, is you can click on number um, and you can choose whether or not to have a comma in between your thousands. Uh, you can choose how many decimal places you want. Uh, so if we put one decimal place on, you've got a sample here of what it's going to look like. Uh, you can put on as many as you like, and then it's just going to show this one as 20.0. Now, uh, what you can do is highlight more multiple multiples at once, or highlight the entire column. Um, and what you'll notice uh, is if you go to Format Cells, put these to number, uh, let's put one decimal place, um, it doesn't include the header, um, so um, that's quite a useful thing. As if you've got your headings on there, um, it's, it's, it's going to ignore the the top line of them if they're text. Um, so uh, we don't probably don't really want that to be an, with a decimal point because the point because it doesn't really make a uh, sense. So just go to format cells and put it back to general. Um, the other thing you'll notice, um, or probably won't notice, is if you've got one cell that is different format to the other to two other cells, and you want to copy that format, what you can do is click on this, the Format Painter. Um, just select that. It's going to take what you've got, and if you click on another cell, then boom copies the format straight over. This works for colours as well, so if we take that, put it there, then we notice when you type it in it's bold, it's the same colour. Um, but we don't want that there because that's not one of our headings. The other thing you can do if you double click on it, then, then you can um, you can keep going onto as many cells as you want, and then to get rid of it you just press escape. Uh, and that will copy them all across for you. So uh, let's put them back to general. Next data type we're going to look at is dates. Now you'll notice that these don't really look very familiar um, to the kind of dates you're used to. You're used to seeing them um, depending which country you're in will depend on, on how you see them. Um, 
I'm going to be working with English dates, so sorry all you guys uh, over in America, um, but uh, I'll be working with English dates, um, I'm afraid. Um, so, but what we, we don't want them in this format, this doesn't make any sense to us. This is the Excel format. Um, essentially, what Excel does is rather than recording uh, the day, the month and the year, um, it records the number of days since uh, the 1st of the 1st, 1900. Now this can cause problems if you're um, a historian because your dates are, gonna, are not going to work with anything before the 19, uh, anything before the 1st of the 1st, 1900. But for anything after that you're fine. Um, and there's a very good reason for this, it's because it makes the, the, math, the maths with dates really, really easy. Uh, and I'll come on to that in a minute. But uh, you don't want to keep your dates like this. If you go into Format Cells and go into Date, and then you've got a list of different formats for dates. So you can have them um, with day, month, year, you can have a day, uh, and then the month written as it is, um, and you can choose any any combination of things you want. So I'm going to go for... I go for this one with the uh, with the date, and you notice that some of them come as hashes. And why have they come up with hashes? Well, that's just because they don't fit in the box. So if we double click on this, that, there we go. They come back out again, um, and that's how you make your dates come through properly. Um, if you change them back to general again, then they're gone. So um, let's stick them uh, back as a date. Uh, if you're typing, um, so let's select the whole column and make all of them dates, um, and then go on to here. Right, if you're typing into a date format box, then don't worry about uh, how you write it, it'll come through in the right format anyway, as long as you write an actual date. Um, and uh, just as a general rule, always do dates the same, uh, and I generally use slashes all the time, forward slashes. Um, don't start going crazy and put in uh, dashes and dots and things, just keep it simple, slashes, no spaces, um, and then Excel will never get confused and it will always treat it as a proper date. Uh, next uh, we've got time, and again this records it as um, a, a kind of time serial rather than the actual time. Um, so we go to format cells, we go on to time, uh, and then you've got a variety of different types of ways you can put it in. You've got 24 hour clock, you've got 12 hour clock, um, and you notice down here we have also got the option to select which, which country you're in as well. Um, so let's put that in there, and then that plops them through into times then. Next we're going to look at is currency. Um, so these are all just numbers at the moment, but what we really want them to do is show through as currency because it's money spent. So if we right click on these um, and go to currency, and uh, then you'll notice it's stuck a pound sign at the start. Uh, you've got, if you click on this, you've got a whole list of all the different currencies. Um, so don't, don't worry about having to use pounds. Um, and you can select how many decimal places. So generally, you're probably going to want to use two decimal places if you're using pounds, because then that shows you pence. Uh, other languages, I'm not sure, or currencies, I'm not really sure, um, just because I'm, uh, I'm more about the pounds, really. Um, and then click on that, and then you notice that they've all come through uh, nice and tidy. And then percentage rating. And uh, so this is going to be a percentage. When you're typing in values of percentages, make sure you always type them in as say 0 0.9 or 0 0.7, or it's it's a it's a value between minus one and one um, for your kind of where one is 100%, minus one is minus 100%. If you put in two, it's going to be 200%. So don't try putting in right in 70 for 70%. It's it's 0 0.7. Um, so when we go to format cells put these in as percentages uh, and you can again you can choose your decimal places uh, and you notice they all switch then so the ones that are 0 0.7 
switch to 70%. Um, if you type in 0 0.7 now, it'll come in as 70%. Uh, if you type in 70, it will come in as 70% as well. So um, my suggestion is even though it does do that for you, still do it as 0.7 um, just to get into the habit um, of of putting things in the correct format. Uh, there we go. Um, although, if you've got a cell that's already formatted, then look what's happening here. It, it's putting the 0 0.7 in, but it's cutting it back down to the bottom, so you need to be putting in the 70 on this one. Um, and the only way really to tell, so if I type it down here, it's going over to the left, it doesn't have a percentage sign, whereas if I'm typing it up here, it's going to the left and it does have a percentage sign, so I'm going to want to know that I'm going to put 10% there. Um, and that's it for uh, data types. Um, um, Conscious has been quite a long tutorial, um, so please catch me in my next tutorial uh, when I'm going to be going into formulas again. So thanks for listening, uh, I hope to catch you soon.